But first, unless you manage your relationships with a cyborg-like coldness, there will be times when you may feel compelled to make a romantic gesture to express either enthusiasm or, more frequently, apologies to your co-respondent. Stereotypically, such gestures involve flowers, chocolates or white water rafting. But why waste time on ancient guff like that when technology can help us navigate the tedious terrain to happy ever after? En route, I've got a rendezvous with a married man who, despite this, is well versed in romantic gestures. It's Sanjeev Bhaskar. Sanjeev. Ah, oh, Richard. Thank you for joining me. Now, we're here to talk about romance, mm. as usual. <laughs> we generally meet up every week and discuss affairs of the heart. Indeed. Like, what do you feel are the most romantic of gestures? It's nice to kind of have as, so much affection for someone yes. that they give you things. Make them pay you back for the time you've put in, which brings us to the question of 3D chocolate printing. Prepare to have your third eye opened. This 3D chocolate printer can print any design as a complete entity or onto other chocolates, cakes or biscuits. But to quote yet again from UK garage duo Shanks and Bigfoot, will the end result be sweet like chocolate? As far as 3D printing chocolate goes, that's probably the finest I've ever had. That's pretty good. Next, I must woo Sanjeev with another romantic cliché, reborn as Gadget. Here we are. The P-I-A-N-O. The need to master Richard Clayderman's natural habitat is blown clean out of the water by the P-I-A-N-O. Its interactive projection system beams down the keys you need to hit allowing the novice to serenade like a modern-day Tony Mortimer from East 17. It's a classical piece, isn't it? Yeah. I can't remember, is it Beethoven, is it? Yes. I'd imagine that that's how that's Beethoven close. first played it. Yes. He composed it without being able to play piano, which is one of the remarkable things about Beethoven. That's why his head was so huge. With our bromance already intensifying, we telepathically resolved to crank things up to level seven. Sanjeev, picture this doomsday scenario. It's a romantic night, but the flowers have not arrived. Oh. What do you do? Do you panic? Yeah, you panic, you get angry, you rail against the system. Or do you engage the hollow gauze? Oh! Bang! It's like flowers have appeared in complete three-dimensional solidity before your very eyes. The Hollow Gauze is a revolutionary, highly transparent screen that can display a virtual bouquet, making real flowers an embarrassing redundancy. And it mimics the turntable that I put all of my flowers on in my house. <laughs> and also, what I like about this particular bunch of flowers is it reminds us that we all die. It has a bleakness, it has an austerity. We must be reminded of death, a memento mori, if we will, that yes, we will enjoy tonight, but we will soon be dust. And once you've hit them with the slowly rotating flowers of death, you get out the ring cam. What I think is an inappropriate title. It conjures up something very invasive. But say you're proposing to someone, you want yeah. to document that moment. Yeah. You don't want to just remember it as yeah. a romantic thing that happened off the cuff and dissipates. You want to film the woman. A high-def hidden camera built into the box with a recording time of up to 90 minutes for those given to filibustering, RingCam makes sure you'll always be able to digitally review the transaction. Oh. No, uh, don't, sorry. Bad angle. Here we go. Yeah? Yeah. Is this disposable go. then, or, or do you use the same case for another You could ring. use this for multiple proposals. Oh, you right. could just okay. keep going until someone says yes. Till the authorities catch up with exactly. you. Exactly. We've had a series of triumphs here, but which gadget did you like the best? It's going to be the flowers of death, actually. Well, Sanjeev, I'm going to leave you just to revel in its majesty. I'm going to try and walk out without ripping the gauze. Um, sorry, destroyed the illusion. Ooh. Also, you could probably use this to trap trout, so... Multifunctional. Yeah. <laughs> 